Okay, so you know how sometimes like you hear a word and you just like instantly want to run for the hills? Oh yeah, totally. This is one of those words for me, right? Networking? Yeah, I get that. Like honestly, just the sound of it kind of makes me cringe. It definitely has like a mixed reputation. But what if we like totally reframed it? You know? Okay, I like where this is going. Like, what if we could take this thing that so many of us dread right. and turn it into something that's actually enjoyable? Okay, yeah. Sign me up for that. <laughs> that's what we're diving into today. Right. And we've got some heavy hitters in our corner for this deep dive. Oh, yeah. Who are we talking? Harvard Business Review, <laughs> Makata World Economic Forum. <laughs> like the big leagues. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So we're getting serious about networking today. Yeah, we're going to like debunk some myths, right. uncover some surprising strategies. Love it. Hopefully by the end of this, you'll be looking at networking in a whole new light. All right, let's do it. So first things first, let's talk about this idea of like the natural networker. Oh yeah. You know the one- Right? Yeah. Like the person who just floats around the room effortlessly. You know, charming everyone they meet. Yeah, collecting business cards like they're going out of style. Totally a myth. Right. And there's actually research to back that up. Oh really? Yeah, Kashiara Gino and Kuchaki did some fascinating work on this. And what did they find? Basically that even the most successful networkers, mm -hmm. they rely on learned strategies and techniques. So it's not like some magical inborn talent. Exactly. So if you feel awkward or unsure about networking. Which let's be real, most of us do. You're in good company. It's a skill you can develop. I love that. It's like taking the pressure off. Totally. And that brings us to this really interesting idea from Harvard Business Review. Okay, I'm intrigued. They call it learn to love networking. Now that sounds like a challenge. Well, I know, right? Uh, but it's all about shifting your mindset. Okay, how so? Instead of thinking of it as like a transactional thing. You know, like a business card swap meet. Exactly. Yeah. What if we approached it as a way to genuinely connect with people? I like that focusing on the human element. And you know, contributing to their success. Yeah, like turning it into a win-win situation. Exactly. And when you focus on adding value to others. It changes the whole vibe, right? Totally. It becomes less about what can I get? And more about how can I help? Right. And that can make all the difference. So it's not just about what you say. It's about your intention going into it. Absolutely. Yeah. And you know what else I think plays a big role? What's that? I think we tend to like overthink networking. You mean like planning every interaction down to the minute? Yeah. And that can make it feel so forced and unnatural. Right. Which brings me to this next concept I found fascinating. Planned happenstance. Hey, planned happenstance. How does that work? So it's not about like just leaving everything to chance. Okay. It's more about actively creating opportunities for serendipity. Oh, I see. Like putting yourself out there and seeing what happens. Exactly. The Nakata article actually had this great example. Oh, I love a good story. What was it? So there was this student who stumbled upon their dream career. No way. Just like that. Yeah. They were just at a coffee shop. Okay. And struck up a conversation with someone new. Wow. So it was just a random encounter. And it ended up changing their whole trajectory. I love that. See, sometimes the best opportunities... Come when you least expect them. Exactly. And that's where being open and curious comes in. So it's not just about attending events or conferences. You're right. It's about being present in everyday moments. And engaging with the world around you. Because you never know who you'll meet. Or where a conversation might lead. All right. So we've talked about mindset and serendipity. What about those of us who cringe at the thought of small talk? Oh, yeah. The introverts out there. You know, I was reading this article from the World Economics Forum. Okay. And they were talking about how introverts actually have unique strengths when it comes to networking. I can see that. Like, think about it. Introverts are often amazing listeners. Oh, yeah, totally. Yep. They really take the time to engage with people. Right. And they build deeper, more meaningful connections. They may not be the life of the party. But their presence can be so impactful. And you know what I've noticed? What's that? Introverts tend to be really thoughtful in their communication. They don't just throw out generic pleasantries. Right. They actually put thought into what they say. Which can make them really stand out. Exactly. So being an introvert can actually be an advantage. The article even had this great tip. Oh, tell me. For introverts who are feeling nervous about networking. Okay, I need this. They recommend preparing a few conversation starters beforehand. That's so smart. It takes the pressure off trying to come up with something on the spot. Yeah. And it can help make those first interactions feel more natural. Love it. So mm -hmm. to kind of wrap things up, mm. it seems like networking isn't about being someone you're not. No, definitely not. It's about being authentically you. It's about shifting your mindset. Focusing on building genuine relationships. And playing to your strengths. Whether you're an extrovert or an introvert, 
It's about recognizing that we all have something valuable to offer. And by being open to new connections and experiences, we can unlock possibilities we never even imagined. Absolutely. It's exciting when you think about it that way. This whole conversation has honestly changed the way I think about networking. Me too. It's not about collecting business cards. But it's about collecting experiences, insights, connections. Things that enrich our lives and careers. So here's my challenge to you. I'm listening. What's one small step you can take this week to apply these ideas? Yeah, what can you do differently? Maybe it's reaching out to someone you admire. Or attending an event outside your comfort zone. Or even just striking up a conversation with someone new. It could be anything, just something to get the ball rolling. And maybe, just maybe, the key to unlocking the true power of networking. Okay, spill the beans. Lies in focusing less on what we can get. And more on what we can give. Something to ponder as you navigate this fascinating world of connections. I love that. Definitely something to think about. Thanks so much for diving into this with me. This was great. Always happy to chat. Until next time. See ya.